Dr. X is about detectives who are investigating a string of murders committed only on the nights of full moons and the victims have all their flesh chewed off. The search leads them to a mansion of a doctor who is conducting strange experiments. The film holds the distinction of being the first horror feature to be shot in color as early as 1932 when all the most famous horror movies were shot in black and white. This one used an old Technicolor process where two strips of film were dyed and combined together to create all the weird colors you see here. I often wondered how it would have looked seeing it fresh on a movie screen in 1932. I bet the colors have deteriorated over the years. In fact, this movie was hard to find in color for many decades because it was also released in black and white. The color copies were released in limited supplies and reserved only for major cities. I like the unique color. It sort of reminds me of looking at an old faded comic book from the 30s. Speaking of comic books, the doctor's name is Dr. Xavier. I can't help but think of Professor Xavier from X-Men. The character was sort of parodied in Mickey Mouse cartoons with Dr. Triple X, but is more or less their take on the generic classic Mad Doctor stereotype. Dr. Xavier is played by Lionel Atwill, who would soon land a supporting role in almost every Universal Monster movie of the late 30s and early 40s. His daughter is played by Fay Ray, best known for King Kong. There is also actor John Ray, cinematographer Ray Ranahan, makeup artist Ray Romero, and with all the talk of X-rays, you think this movie might have enough rays. Now all we need to do is watch it on Blu-ray. There's a lot of sci-fi techno babble going on. The rotor of the electrostatic machine is connected in multiple series with a bank of glass plate condensers. And some real gruesome scenes where the killer monster reveals himself, plastering his face with flesh. I still don't know what the hell's going on here, but it's great. Even though this movie pushed the envelope of horror, it has a lot of comedy relief. I'm so afraid. I'm shaking like a leaf. Keep quiet. It was advertised more as a comedy than as a horror film. Here's some more trivia. It was directed by Michael Curtis, who's made several highly acclaimed films like The Adventures of Robin Hood, Captain Blood, and Casablanca. Speaking of Casablanca, the star, Humphrey Bogart, was cast in the quasi-sequel Return of Dr. X. You might be wondering why Humphrey Bogart was in a horror movie, let alone a subpar horror sequel. Well, apparently, he didn't know either. He was quoted as saying, I had a part that somebody like Bela Lugosi or Boris Karloff should have played. I was this doctor brought back to life, and the only thing that nourished this poor bastard was blood. If it had been Jack Warner's blood, maybe I wouldn't have minded as much. The trouble was, they were drinking mine, and I was making this stinking movie. Wow. Just from that quote, the awesomeness of Bogart has just boosted even higher. Hey! 